Hi there, Smart Drivers. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about how to put chains on a big truck and make sure you do it before you spin out, not after you spin out. So stick around. We'll be right back with that information. Hi there, Smart Drivers. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about how to put chains on a big truck. Now, just before we get started here, I would like to thank Inland Kenworth here in Vernon, BC for supplying a truck, supplying chains and equipment for me to be able to do this and show you how to put chains on a big truck. And these are real chains. These are triples. They're not cables or some other uh, sort of knockoff that you can use going up and down the highway in British Columbia. If you're running in the bush doing logging or you're running in the oil fields or you're running up and down the Coquihalla Highway or the Snow Snoqualmie Pass or other places, you're going to need a set of these on your vehicle. And actually here in British Columbia, you have to have them on your vehicle and ready to be fitted between October 1st and March 30th. That is the law here. And as well, there's particular ways that you have to chain up your vehicle. And I'll put a link down in the description there. And you can find that sheet over at the Smart Drive Test website that will give you indication of which axles you have to chain up for the purposes of being legal and driving on the roads here. Now, just before we get started here, if you're new to Smart Drive Test, Smart Drive Test helps new drivers get a license, veteran drivers to remain crash free, and CDL drivers to start a career as a truck or bus driver. So consider subscribing as well, hit that bell, that way you'll get instant notification when we get the videos up for you. Now, putting chains on a big truck is not something that any driver wants to do. Every driver that I have ever talked to hates putting chains on a big truck. And it usually happens at night in the dark. It's cold, it's around freezing, and there is mud and crap and sand and salt and every other thing that you can imagine dripping off your truck. And if you have a trailer on here, it's not so bad if you've got a logging trailer, but van trailers and those types of things, you're going to have to stick your head under there and you are going to get dripped on with this just awful mess, <laughs> what they call in the, the plow industry, pickle mix, sand and salt. Uh, dripping on your head. So you're going to wear and wear old clothes. I've got a scarf on here. You probably don't want a scarf hanging out while you're trying to work. So you want to do up your jacket so that's not going to get caught in anything. You want to have some sort of safety and those types of things. So I'm trying to get my jacket done up here for you. Uh, preferably you want a pair of old coveralls that you can wear. Get your scarf in there because you want to stay warm. You're definitely going to need a pair of gloves uh, for chaining up to protect your hands and just keep them warm so you probably want a better pair of gloves than this it's fairly warm today you might even want a pair of coveralls and I have a fairly large old pair of coveralls that I have here and the reason I have them in big and large is so that I can fit them over my jacket and clothes and those types of things and stay nice and warm in the winter time so that's a couple of things uh, that you need for chains as well we'll just get the chains out here and we'll show you how to lay them out to put them on the truck so the first thing you want to do is you want to lay your chains out on the ground. You want to make sure that the tines are up. You want to inspect the chains, make sure that there's no broken or stretched links. And you want to figure out what kind you have. You can see here on these set of chains, you have the cantilever uh, hookup for the ends of the chain. Some of them will have the cambers on them that you'll have to have a uh, T-wrench and you'll have to turn those. But these work just fine. We'll show you how to put these on here. You just fold them over towards you and then lift them up by the center and drape them over the wheels and drape them over both wheels and we'll show you how to do that here. So you take the back set and fold it towards you like this. Just fold it over in half, more or less as best you can on top of the other one. That simple. And you basically take it and grab it in the middle here and drape it over the front tire as such best you can here and then take it and flip it back over the back tire as such here we're more or less straight make sure it's all nice and draped here and that's it and then we back up over the tire a couple of feet and we'll get in the truck and we'll do that all right so we got it backed up so we just adjust our chains so they're nice and here. Grab the bottom one here. Sometimes that's gonna happen. You're not gonna back up far enough. So we just gotta back it up a little bit more. So we're back to the place where we need to be now. Now, you can hook these up in whatever order you want, but you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to mess around with them a little bit here. So we'll hook the center one up here. And then we'll hook the inside one up here. And I know from hooking these up before in a practice run, 
that it was the second one here and we'll hook that up just to get that on there and then we'll do the front one here you just want to stretch it out weave this through here and then fold this back over here and link it on you can see it's going to be a bit finicky and that's basically all it is here now this center one here you might have to adjust see if you can get another link in there so now I got two links on the center one and I'm not very happy with it because it needs to be hooked from underneath for it to be tight Otherwise, it might come off on you. Okay. Well, it looks like on this one here, we're only going to get two. I'm going to have to come back to it. Get that through there first. Oh, it's pretty loose. Try to go for three here. Slide back. Get the links out of there. Tons of fun. There we go. There we go. Okay, all tightened up. The back one, we're gonna do one more link. So we're gonna readjust that one. You wanna try and keep them even and as tight as you can. So up, the back one we got to four. Okay, all good. Now we'll put our bungee cord on here. Okay, try and put it equidistance around here. So equidistance. Equidistance. Okay. It's fairly snug, this thing. So just be sure that you don't let it snap back on your eyes there. There we go. One other note about driving with chains on on a big truck, you're probably not going to do more than 30 or 40 miles an hour, 50 or 60 kilometers an hour, depending on what kind of terrain you're in, because Chains are going to slop around a lot and they're going to make a lot of noise. They're not going to go very fast with chains on, so just know that when you chain up. So you can see we've got it all chained up here, you're ready to go. Now, the other thing about chaining up is you always need to put it on the front axle, especially if you're driving a tandem axle. This is a triple axle, but on a tandem axle, depending on whether you've got lockers on your truck or not. Most trucks are just going to have a power divider which locks across the front axle, and that's where you put your chains, the one that you can lock up the differential, otherwise it's not going to do you any good on snow and ice. Most of these logging trucks, like this one here, have power dividers, as you can see here in the image, which means that it locks the interaxles, it locks all three of them, and then it, it, the whole thing just churns. But as one old timer said to me, he said, going up the hill, he said, you don't have any steering power because the thing is just going to push you forward. So oftentimes what they'll do is turn them off going around the corner, go around the corner, and then turn them back on to get back up the hill. So that's what you got to keep in mind. This is why when you chain up, they always recommend that you chain up the front axle. But a lot of times that's gonna be difficult because you get fenders in there and you get uh, van trailers and those types of things and it's gonna be really problematic. So this is how you chain up. This is how you put chains on. As I said, wear old clothes, it's gonna be messy. You can see my gloves are completely soaked at this juncture. My boots are wet, I'm here in the slush, and this is when you're gonna be putting chains on. Not when there's two feet of snow on the ground. It's when there's two inches of snow on the ground is when you're gonna be putting chains on and don't chain up after you spin out. One of my former students who worked in the bush, he said, if you even have the thought of having to put chains on, it's too late. So that's what you need to do to put chains on. I'm Rick with Smart Drive Test. Thanks very much for watching. Good luck on your road test. And remember, pick the best answer, not necessarily the right answer. Have a great day. Bye.